I get scared easily. And that movie has my blood pressure or something raised some degrees or multiple degrees. Things are scary to me. Like back in the day, it used to be Chucky. But then there came a point where I owned those movies in my place of residence. And I don't know if there was really any level of resentment. I guess you grow. I don't even know if it's things that you come to know. Maybe bravery gets sown. The woman in this movie was brave. I thought that at one point. Maybe there's a time in your life where something comes to anoint. Or maybe you're always anointed to solve the mystery like Scooby-Doo. Whether it's a situation that doesn't even have to do with you. Or it's the riddle of your own life or someone close. Who knows what you're a host to in your story? What demons and bacteria and fungi might latch on? It's a match that won't be on TV, but has so much importance. You have to take authority, like Andy. In Child's Play. I remember one time back watching those movies. Watching him go to the basement. When there's this Chucky situation. It's like dang. like I noticed his bravery. Maybe this is when I was older. When I was younger watching it. Maybe I didn't see. That version. Or that. Part in the. Not even trilogy. There's however many movies. But. There is one movie, maybe the first or the second, where he was in his element. He went downstairs, there's a killer doll, and you kind of know the situation, but you don't have fear, and you just, without exclamation, it's not even vocal, you just have strength in you, it's local, it's within you. Not local like the city you're in, but local as in within so with whatever it is that you're fighting or that you will fight hopefully along your journey you find your might like Simba learning to face his past sometimes it's not a physical tangible thing that evokes your fear or wrath or making you sad. Sometimes it's intangible. Sometimes it's nothing. 